traders, FS Pep Collector here. Today is Friday, July 12th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So, on the Aussie dollar, I'm definitely still very bullish overall. I, say, I believe this needs to go up and make a wave C of wave Y to complete this three waves up for W, three waves down for X, and three waves up for wave Y, which I still think it needs to go up and take out these previous highs. So, let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, first of all, I think this uptrend over here is the wave A of Y. I think this is a WXY, which is a wave B of wave Y. That would make this right here a wave 1. That would make this right here a wave 2. And I believe we are in a wave 3. I think this is going to be like a 1, 2, 3. And I think this is all just going to be subdivisions of that wave 3 to form that pattern like I was showing on the monthly time frame. Taking it down to the daily time frame, we are at the 78%, but it seems like price is pushing beyond that. We already had a pretty significant pullback at that level. The trend is up, and I think this is most likely subdivision 1, subdivision 2, and most likely we are in a subdivision of wave 3. So definitely very, very bullish. I mean, I'm sure there will be some pullbacks along the way, which is actually great news for us, because pullbacks give us an opportunity to go long again for the continuation of the uptrend. Going down to the 4-hour time frame, now I wouldn't be surprised at all if this just kept on trending up, especially because it does not seem to be respecting the 78%. But I have my Fibonacci retracement from here to here, because if this really is an A and this is a B, then this will bounce off a of Fibonacci retracement level and go down for a wave C before it actually does end up continuing back up. And we do have some pretty decent dollar news coming out this afternoon, so maybe that will be what does that. Now going down to the 1-hour time frame like I said I would definitely always lean towards the higher time frame trend the higher time frame trend is definitely 100% up so for me I am definitely looking for longs and if it just keeps on making higher highs higher lows then whatever I'm looking for longs in a ways but I'm also trying to keep an eye on these Fibonacci levels because if price does go up to a Fib level make a nice significant bounce then that would probably tell us that this is an A this is a B and that it would go down for a wave C I always like to keep a bullish and a bearish version in my mind so that way if it does do something that proves that it's going to go down I will not be surprised by that I definitely think the trend is up and I'm definitely leaning towards the trend just keeping on trending up but if it bounces from a fib level breaks starts it to the downside I will definitely be prepared to either go short for the wave C or patiently wait for the wave C to be over to go long again for the continuation of the uptrend so don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my website if you'd like to get access to my swing trade setups and my daily live Zoom meetings. As always, thank you and happy trading.